If a company is found unable to fulfill its duties, strict actions, including blacklisting and revoking the license, should be taken. Such firmness can serve a lesson to other companies, preventing them from repeating the same mistakes. Teachers' unions are urging the Education Ministry to investigate and ban contractors who don't deliver on improving and rebuilding dilapidated school buildings. Sarawak Teachers' Union President Kulin Jayang said many schools in Sarawak are still in a state of disrepair. An Auditor General report found that just 25.6% that 386 out of 1,505 school improvement projects were successfully conducted across the country from 2019 to 2022. With the Special Task Force on Agency Reform established to oversee school building projects, Kulin suggested that the task force regularly visit sites to ensure projects are on track and meet the required standards. There are many projects that have been given approval but are yet to commence. We are tired of promises and excuses made by past governments. Meanwhile, Ikatan Guru Guru Muslim Malaysia President Azizi Hassan said there was a possibility of leakages with how projects are carried out, urging the government to conduct thorough audits. Bahan masih lagi menggunakan uh, apa nama kayu, menggunakan sekolah masih menggunakan kayu, bukan menggunakan uh, batu batal, masih kemudahan air dan juga elektrik. Jadi Azizi said. The government needs to solve this problem quickly because improving education means making sure students everywhere can use basic facilities in schools. Natasha Bust, FMT News.